I gotta give this game credit for being relatively fast-paced. Ish. Mm -hmm. Getting around does not feel like a chore. But maybe it's because I can link roll all over the place. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, I'm level 15. I can actually equip some new stuff. Ooh. Oh. I'm level 13. I suck. Bad news, bird. Lava. Yeah, yeah. Well, what do you know? I see glowy stuff, but I don't see any lava. That's fine. Unleash the lava, I think. Nope. No, that wow. wasn't it. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> You're standing, like, ankle-deep in, in lava. It just doesn't <laughs> hurt me. Yeah, I think, I think your head is the uh, hitbox. Oh, that could be. Because <laughs> I'm looking over at your, uh, at your stream, and I see, like, I'm just taking, like, a hot spring bath. <laughs> you want to come test this... the theory? Come stand next to me. See what happens sure. to you. This feels pretty good. Come join me. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yep, it's the head. Yep. That Where? is hilarious. Oh, nope. It's, yeah, <laughs> It. I think it's the chin, because, like, right now uh -huh. it's just up to my shoulders. Should probably heal. That is funny. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I always love poking at the threads of video games like that and figuring out, like, oh, yeah, this is how they programmed that. This is always a very, very fun experience. I did that a lot with Rhyme, actually, because Rhyme was made with the Unreal Engine, and um, yeah, you kind of knew what super holes familiar to look with for. the Unreal Engine, and yeah. um, I was able to identify like, oh, this is how they accomplished this thing, um, and then I was able to even go further and say like, um, the 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 movement controller that they used, I'm 99% sure that came from the uh, Unreal Asset Store. Like, the... Because it was very good. The whole, like, grabbing onto ledges, moving around on ledges, and jumping off yeah. ledges and stuff. I was That's making jokes that it was... buy it. I was making jokes that it was, like, the last Guardian, but with good controls. Yeah. Well, that, that's... The controls were, like, actually quite a oh, positive yeah. experience. Yeah. You can also just buy that controller pack. If yeah. you want to make your own Rhyme clone, it's, like, 80 bucks or something like that. It's called, like, the third-person adventure game controller. You need uh, more lockpicking experience. This is bullshit. Yep. Wait, you can rename the gold chest? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, you got it open? Yeah, open it up. Oh. and I, I'm not I... able to loot it all the way. Come here and open it up. Okay, coming back. Found a spawner. I see. Uh, I can't open this one. Oh, I can open the other one, though. What's it called? Uh, gold what, chest and it? gold chest. No, 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 you gotta... What the hell? It didn't save it? Aha! No, 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 this can't be right. This isn't happening. It doesn't save the name of the chest, but I... The, how am I ever gonna organize anything? What? You can name it? No! No, that's not fair! There we go. <laughs> Bullshit! <laughs> I'm gonna kill the Agentes over here. Ow! <laughs> yeah, that help make your own rhyme clone. <laughs> My mom, does she make a good al, al, al dente? <laughs> <laughs> it, it made out of real explosive O's. I was hoping it would give us a portal and so we could go murder some more things. <laughs> because the, the agouti over there. Oh, yeah, we're on, on fire. fire. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. Five. Oh, how many times can I die? Do we want to go get you some new, ex new like equipment? Cause I don't we know. Could probably go do that. I don't know. I don't know. Nothing matters. I dig up this chest. <laughs> what? Oh fuck I'm, you, beard! I don't. I'm just gonna sulk and pout. Hang out with the mushrooms. They don't judge me. They probably do. You're like murdering their entire people. Did you know no in Starbound comment. there's like colonies of gnomes that you can dig up and throw at enemies? <laughs> uh, the Starbound people do have a very good sense of humor. Like, once once we're things. done with this, I actually really would like to play Starbound. I think it's a fair use of our time. Because they added, they added mechs, like, officially mm -hmm. now, so maybe they won't just one-shot the last boss. Yeah. 
Um, did you ever hear about, like, you've heard about, like, super organisms, right? Uh, not it's overwhelmingly. A, it's like biological things where they get all entangled up in each other and uh, it becomes, like, considered one living being. Oh. So like, Rat uh, King would not count. No, Rat King doesn't count, but, like, it only happens in, like, I think, like, plants or something. But you were talking about, like, mushroom people, and this made me think of that. There's, like, one part of the Earth that's, it's, like, I don't know, five square miles or something like that, that is just full of, it's just covered in mushrooms, and they're all, like, connected underground. So it's just, like, a five like square mile mushroom. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah mushrooms I'm that can connect up to each other. A lot of the beets. I don't even remember yeah. if it was mushrooms or not. No, but it, it's know. a type of fungus. I know I know what you're talking about. There that actually I think there's a forest that is kind of the same way that it's actually all like one tree or something silly wow, like that. That is wild. I'm glad people aren't like that. Otherwise, I mean, I like my neighbors to a point, but I'm I'm okay with keeping more of a <laughs> separation welcome the, of Welcome concerns. to the Jersey Collective. Oh, wait. Maybe closer to home. <laughs> welcome to the New Jersey Collective. You may never leave. Oi, Snooky, give me a beer. <laughs> oh, no. I want to leave the Jersey Collective. Wow, that'd be a way worse show. We take a right. bunch of lower <laughs> class citizens from Jersey, and we connect their brains together using magic. <laughs> <laughs> By the and way, you should go hit the crystal before go, we go too I'm far. I'm going to hit the crystal, and then I'm going to go back to town. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I'm going to go back to town. <laughs> Jersey Shore, hive mind. <laughs> what a horrible, horrible use of magic. Absolutely wonderful. I, know. I love this idea. Okay. All right, I can make some Agmore. Agmore? Agmore than what? Can I make, like, refined anything? No. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's Agmore Helm. So my brother would sing that, and he's like, that's a more. And then he'd make, like, eel noises. I'm sure. That sounds like your brother through and through. Oh, uh, your brother would be uh, like, "What would a nerd do in this situation?" And then he does that. Yeah. Your brother's awesome. He is. He's I was a, gonna try and get him very to very cool, very smart dude. I was gonna try and get him to like sub in as like a NPC assistant character while you guys were gone, but he was busy the whole weekend because one of his uh -huh. friends is like disappearing forever and it's like well all right can bye. you put that silver stuff in one of the chests yeah, yeah. so i can if you make things thank you there you go <laughs> just picturing the next season ah oh, we don't have enough silver ingots to make this shit oh. uh alchemy some by the way i've dropped a medallion of arms above us oh wow you can just alchemy them i come i was able to do that earlier uh maybe the ore wasn't stowed away. That's weird. Anyway, keeping up with like the Kardashians would be a way more intense experience if to do it you had to be, you had to join the Kardashian collective. <laughs> join our hive mind so that you may find out what Kim Kardashian's up to. Man, the future's gonna See, suck, isn't it? Maybe. When we get the technology to do that, like yeah. Oh, jeez. Reality TV will literally become reality. Yeah. Well, we no longer need to collect chests. We are loaded with them, apparently. SP to HP converter. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I threw oh. that your way because it's like, yeah. Bird probably needs this. I don't. It's also level 20. E oh, well. In the dystopian uh, future. Oh, the that's why that's I have more TV. HP than you do. I've got Wait. the... Remember the boss we killed? I have his, like, necklace sitting around in my inventory. Oh, oh I see. So you just, uh... You're just keeping the jewelry from me. That's fine. 
Crown jewels, motherfucker. Okay. I have a lot of, here. like, enchantments. But they're totally useless to me. They're, like, melee related. What the hell are these skull skulls that, like, every time I mouse over them, it just doesn't pop up anything? I have no idea. Like, I'm... Do you, when you roll mouse over skulls, do you see something? Uh, where are they? Uh, they're in the chest right below me. Uh... You should use the medallion skulls? of arms and the ma medallion of gathering, by the way. Uh, oh, oh, that's a smooth rock of the tranquil. It's an enchantment. It's a skull. How's it a rock? Uh, dude, I, I, I'm not questioning. Oh, fair enough. I guess bones are basically rocks. That uh, wasn't me titling the episode, by the way. That was Ladybird typing out something. Now I'm going to end the episode. <laughs> <laughs> the curtain pulled back. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, what do I even call that? We're going to tell that one the end of the episode. Oh, man. Behind the scenes looks at Birdcatcher Games. You know, when I stream and record, I usually will use the time when I'm titling the episode to just like interact with chat. It's a very smooth experience. When I play multiplayer, I don't really get that luxury. <laughs> bots, bots, fart, boner, 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 boner. Okay. Uh, so my lock picking skills have gone up, so maybe we can open up that chest. Okay. Which one? Nope, never mind. Holy crap, you need to have very high lock picking. Uh, to open up the, the agouti. Or whatever it was called, that one chest? Yeah, apparently I can only lockpick up to silver chests even at this point point in the game. That is bleak. How come I can how come I can lockpick better than you? I dunno. Because I can lockpick uh, Oh dude, check the chest. map and zoom in on our on our like kinda chest basement. I can lockpick silver and gold. Huh. What? Yeah, wait what? What levels do you explore? The... I don't know. Zoom in on the on the on the basement? Why? But just the, all of the chest icons just layered awkwardly on top of each other. I don't see that. I'm looking at the treasure chest thing. There's only one. Chest. Oh, you need to uh, talk to Orlin. I already have treasure chest unlocked on the map. Oh, weird. The hell did you just put down? I don't Are know, but it makes. I mean, it lets me go. Oh, I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing about going to church is when I go... Oh! So what it does is it changes the element of all of my uh, spells. Oh, that's nice. What happens when I heal myself? Two. Like, all, all of my, like, damaging spells. Well, that's cool. How do I put down an idol? Uh... I wanna, I wanna join If you cult. have one. Where did you get one? How did you uh, get one? We found one somewhere. Man, you're joining a cave cult? Yeah. That is... Form your own, man. Why? Why Just would you did. Do Just a did. Caveman religion? Just did. You're, you're joining a caveman religion? Yep. You do worse of a mastodon? Sure. Bullshit. Could be worse. Okay, I, mean, I think... Now I'm gonna research a shit ton of stuff. Oh yeah, do we have anything I can research? The answer is no. We need more like refined fangs and horns and silk and stuff. And I'm... well, I'm probably not going to die nearly as often anymore. So, oh, because... did you? Ah, you do have the uh, same I got the armor as me. That's yeah. good. That's good. Oh, the the the. Okay, I gotta be seventeen to get the next piece. What's the name of that one fashion designer? Gucci. Yeah. Yeah, I got I got the Gucci armor. I just I wanted to double check with you before I said said it because I was like, I want to make sure I say it right and I don't say like some weird obscure slur I've never heard of. Here, let's go to the let's go to the the B B P P T H B crystal, and let's head uh, let's head west for once. Okay. We're looking for uh, uh water. We're looking for water creatures. We need uh uh. Water. 
Yeah, uh, Remna, Remna of Water, or whatever. Okay. Uh, so, we so we can, can make the an enchanting avatar. thing. Yes. Okay. I bet if we go far enough to the one side or the other, we wind up at the ocean. Probably, yeah. Well, Found a dungeon. Yeah. I have to sneeze at some point, but I don't know when. Dungan! Yeah, <laughs> There it is. Dungan! Oh, the ruin oh, it's of... one of these. What the hell? That's, uh, you know, I you can see where the name you have to... It looks like the ruin of Krondor. Uh, it is... Rune of Kindred. Kindred. Oh, uh, here. Okay. Exit before closes. Reincarnation. Oh. Oh, neat. I bet that means the monsters come back to life, so there's probably no yeah, purpose. Yeah, uh, they them. come back to life once. Oh, okay. That's like me, except, uh... I come back to life zero time. Fair warning, they also explode, I think. Yeah, but they also are actually, like, level four. So, they can go ahead and fuck themselves. This one's level three. Yeah, wow. That's, um... Hardly dangerous. Eh. Oh. Eh. Oh. Wow, this is so much better than our previous experiences, let me tell you. Yeah. I like, uh... I like killing things that are weaker than me. Wow, uh, that is a very, very messed up sentence to take out of context. Oh, I oh, see. Monsters grow thing. stronger. Uh, Monster Revenge makes all the other ones level up when they die. Well, that doesn't oh, okay. matter. I was going to say, that's actually a good thing, isn't it? Uh, yeah, probably. Oh, a critical hit from a monster? What am I, a shell? <laughs> did, you, did you stick around for much of D&D last night or nah? Uh, I didn't want to be on unequal footing with Keith when he came back, so but I Makes sense. I also couldn't help myself. I watched it a little bit. I so, I saw the very I very final bits, which were I, very fucking weird, and uh, I I heard tale of her getting smacked about nonstop. by like this low level like goons. Yeah, they don't even have a plus to hit, and they hit her. Three times as many times as she hit them. Probably. <laughs> uh, I like, I like Dungeons and Dragons because of it's fun. The randomization element. Sometimes it just feels so unfair, though. Yeah, well, life's unfair. You're just For instance, pissy most because people, most people don't the most... get to be me, and that's uh. You're just pissy unfair. because you're the most killable person in Korea. I, I, I know how it is. Hey, hey, don't psychoanalyze, bird, okay? You think just because you've, we've talked, you can you can write the book on bird? I mean, except for Lady Bird, I'd probably say I'm a runner-up for, uh, for viable authors for the book on bird. Yeah, that's why the CIA wanted your contact info. <laughs> Still haven't contacted me, but I They're can't gonna... imagine that process goes quick. It does not go quick. It, it is, getting top secret clearance is one of those things in life that you want to you want to slow down and make sure you get all the details right and you're not just like oh uh see it says here that he's a really big fan of scottish ter terriers but it turns out he's actually a big fan of scottish terrorists that's a Ooh. my mistake i just i was reading it too fast and i missed that point <laughs> everyone sort of um uh, what's his name? Bagpipey. That's an awful Bag joke. Bagpipey. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, oh shit, Jesus. these guys are like up to 15. We have. Yeah, they're also easy to kill. Oh, I see, but when they respawn, they don't get the they level They respawn bonus. at like level 3, so it's not a problem. At level worthless. Yep. I was like, why am I taking so much damage all of a sudden? They're Aww. very up and down with their damage. We go from level 16 to level bullshit. I guess Braveheart would be a Scottish ter terrorist, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, there was there was quite a lot of Scottish terrorists for a Are while, they? wasn't it? Or no, 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 Northern I'm Ireland. But... Yeah, I'm thinking of the IRA. Yeah, yeah, that's that's Northern Ireland. I'm I'm specifically referring to the uh, 
I don't know. I don't know enough about Scotland to make witty terrorism puns. It's very, very difficult to walk that fine of a line. <laughs> oh, yeah. boy. I'm just trying to think, like, okay, what's my Scottish knowledge? Haggis, yes. Loch Ness Monster, uh, and and Willy from from The Simpsons. Um, and bagpipes. Not a... Not a whole lot you can really cook up with Did, when you don't. So you went to music college. Much. Were there a, were there anybody that uh, specialized in bagpipes or no? Not really. Um, I've met one person that played the bagpipes. Yes, he was a very very strange guy. Um, he it was like. Uh, his like third instrument. He played it alongside a bunch of other things. Okay. Uh, a bunch of other really loud, annoying things. He played like tuba, um, oboe, and bagpipes. So basically, like, he went to the musical instrument store and was like, I want something that's loud and shrill. My lungs are two times the size of the average human. <laughs> Pick an instrument uh, that suits me. Yeah. So I knew one person that played bagpipes and, uh, he told a lot of bagpipe jokes that were, I want to say, just as bad as hearing bagpipes. Um, is hearing somebody try to tell jokes about bagpipe players. Because there's only like two bagpipe jokes. And, uh, yeah, they're not really that great. But no, I didn't, I didn't take an ethnomusicology class and like, the history of Scottish music or something. <laughs> that I would just, be quite funny. I just know my college had a sizable bagpipes club, and they were actually fairly decent at it. So if you went out at... Uh, was it two in the afternoon? Uh, right oh, outside the dining hall. I'm glad hall. you said afternoon, because I was getting very concerned very fast. Oh, you got... Yeah, I got... I got fucked. Give me a second. Okay, um, yeah, two in the afternoon, uh, outside of the dining hall, you could listen to them play. Or if you were in the dining hall, or any of the <laughs> dorms around the dining hall, or really anywhere dorm side, they were very loud. But <laughs> not terrible, so it was kind of like, alright, I don't mind this. I'm just picturing, like, starting on PBS one day, and it's like, like, introducing Haggis McHyland's, uh, bagpipe chorus. And it's like a chamber bagpipe orchestra of like eight professionals that just play like the most hauntingly beautiful, like, um... <laughs> but like in four part, like, choral harmonizations. Maybe that's what I should have submitted for the D&D music instead. <laughs> uh... Synth bagpipes. <laughs> what would you have done if I if I actually just submitted like a big I would have done it. Chorus? You have I'm to sure realize, like, I care about the D and D campaign, but I also don't mind ridiculous dumb shit. Else I'd Good, probably be I'm like, a yeah. Else mm -hmm. I'd be like that accent. Maybe we should figure out how to stop it so Keith can actually role play. Now it's just like, nope. Keith just, Keith just deals. Yeah, well. He's you know, gotten Keith, better at Keith it. Need, Keith needs to learn to just roll with, roll with the He Greg. needs to learn how to talk to Russian people eventually. <laughs> I understand that Russian people are incredibly intimidating and terrifying. The yeah. accent. It's just the accent. Hey, we are getting refined stuff from these guys. Yeah, I was like, maybe we should ow! actually head for... <laughs> yeah, they do hurt. That's, oh, that's one God, thing. They're starting it. to get up there in levels. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, this is good experience. Like, yeah. the oh, yeah. in the I'm almost level. That's good. I'm that's almost good level 16. Experience. Did you ever have to do any, like, dumb character... Quote-unquote character building that, like, really made no sense? Um, no, not the, nothing I can think of off the top of my head, but also when I was a kid, I had very low standards for entertainment. So you could be like, 
All right, class, we're gonna do like group, I don't know, hand-holding exercises, and I'd be like, let's do it. I wanna be the best. So. Do the Goonies count? Because I saw the Goonies like four times in one month. How is that a character building exercise? I mean, it builds up your patience for uh, crushing <laughs> disappointments. Also that. <laughs> oh, no, my come on! What? Is oh. oh! Oh, it's a, it's a spawner. Well, it was a well, spawner. <laughs> was? Jeez. <laughs> we do a lot more damage. Um, yeah, my math teacher... Uh, after, was it the SATs? It was after one of the, like, standardized testing things. My math teacher's just like, well, I'm done. And she just checked out for the rest of the year. That sucks. Yeah. I did not like her. I, we, I don't like her. I've never heard of her. We watched Pirates of the Caribbean twice. Goonies, like, four times because oh, it was her favorite geez. movie. And oh. I want to say Legally Blonde, but at that point I just checked out and would take naps. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yep. I She'd also have, like, you, her... But, um... She would have her husband come in. Because uh, she was, like, newly-ish married. And, uh -huh. um... How long has she been a teacher? Like two years. Yeah. What is it, man? What is it? It's like they like so many like education majors. They like finish, they graduate, they go to like school and they're married. Like every single teacher I know did that exact pattern, especially if they were female. And I don't know. I'm even in high school. It's like, oh, okay, hey class, here's a student teacher. She's gonna like like Miss Sarah or whatever, here she is, and it's like, she comes in and she's like, Hi, I'm Sarah, I'm engaged. It's like every fucking one of them. Every last one of them. We found a new biome, finally. Yeah, it's the beach, I think. Or the desert. It can be both, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it could actually be both. We need cactuses for some kind of research. I know that. Oh, we do need cacti. Well, good thing there's a billion cacti in the desert. Yep. I'm chopping them all down. Hmm. Ow. Oh, God. Who gave the plants guns? Do they actually hurt? No, not really. Eh, they're level they just, 12. They just barf peas at me. Uh... I have the hardest time remembering, now that the control scheme is switched, it's like, how do I get back to my, like, weapons? <laughs> oh, there's a Lanteed spawner right here. Hey, portal. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's worth doing, I guess. Yeah, if we get a portal off of one of the spawners, I think it's more worth doing, because I those agree, are the ones yeah. that are enemy dense without the too dungeons much, like, are nonsense. fun, but they're getting really old really fast. Yeah, well, it's, it's like the same layout every single time. Yeah, they're pretty repetitive. Owie. And the bosses are actually not very thrilling to fight. No. It's like, either... this one's bigger. It's like, this one can teleport to you. This one can teleport you to it. <laughs> <gasps> People are debating the plural of cactuses. Um, it's cacti, but I prefer to call it cacti because it sounds really stupid when he says no, that. No, 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 no. It's cactonculor. <laughs> Cactonculor sounds like it was an alien. Yeah, well, did you know uh, cacti are a, uh, a hive mind from, from the Jersey Collective? <laughs> uh, no, Wander. I didn't know that. Thanks for learning, Nate and Atney. I see that not only did your math education suck, so did your biology. And apparently your geography. Dude, my biology teacher was purely there for field hockey. My biology education was atrocious. My biology education was wonderful. I, uh... What? My biology teacher in high school, um, grew up on a farm. So... Ooh, she yep. knew everything about animals. I, I don't know what it was about my, Oh, um, Jesus, he's huge! Yeah, he is. I don't know what it was about He's my. He's also uh, very neutral looking. Yeah. 
my school system had like the worst biology um, situation you could run into. Um, oh right, I can block. <laughs> so can I. Well, no, I'm using a torch, so I guess I can't. Yeah. Um, so there was either the uh, field hockey teacher, uh, who really was only there for field hockey stuff, and would uh -huh. play like very obvious favorites, or, uh, well, up oh, high game. Yep. It, the boss I died so hard. It, boss died so hard it wiped us out of the dungeon. <laughs> um, but the uh, the other teacher my brother had, and she wasn't a bad teacher. In fact, she was probably really good at biology. But she was such a hard ass that it wasn't even like worth listening to her. Huh. How does that make uh, sense? So like, if you just called her by like Ms. Mrs. or just her name, she wouldn't even respond to you and just ignore you. For the rest of the oh, wow. class, you had to call her Doctor Whatever, because uh. she had a PhD in something. And Biology, by any chance? Yep, <sighs> Biology. Wow. All right. Oh, let's get back in. How far does this set set us back? Oh no, Al Guni is still. Lose. Uh, maybe the dungeon. Uh, did yeah, we, it might that, just have sent us back here, but we might not. Yeah, have... we got some progress from it. Yeah. Okay. Wait, what? What? What was it called again? Al Guni. Al Guni. Huh. Nefarious Death Dungeon. Wow, that sounds inviting. <laughs> oh, is there a dungeon right there? Yeah, at Al Guni. Uh, I, by and large, had a really, really good um, high school education. So, like, my gen ed skills are quite nice. My biology teacher, like I said, she grew up on a farm, and she also taught anatomy and physiology. So, she was absolutely wonderful. Great teacher. I assume she's retired by now, but uh, she was uh, she was great. And uh, I remember in my senior year of high school, I ran into her again after not seeing her for the entire high school career. And she was like, oh, hey, how you doing? Like, she recognized me. And I was like, wow, I'm glad you recognized me. And she was like, I remember all of my students. And I was like, you are a, you are a good teacher. You know that? Like, that was, that was a really nice experience. Followed um, by, who are you again? <laughs> Nah, she, uh, she knew my name. I just didn't say it out loud because I don't want people um, sending yeah. dead cats or whatever it is you do yeah. when you figure out somebody on the internet. I had uh, a dead cat. Oh, my brother's been leaving comments on some of uh, my videos lately, and I'm like, ah, shit. Like, he's oh. talking to me really familiar, familiarly, and he's got, like, full first name, last name, and I'm like, <laughs> I should get you, like, to get a non- yeah. Uh, doxing nickname to work with here. <laughs> hey, bro. Nice to see you again. It's me. Change your name. <laughs> it, 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 it's me, and the username is like chemboy at like 497 North Drive East, Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> like how I. I obfuscated as much as I possibly could for your actual address. I almost started saying my address, and it was like, no, we're gonna, we're gonna hold off on that one. Like, I don't want everyone knowing I live at one, two, three Fake Street. Ah, 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 there's so much death. There we go. I'm coming, Birdsley. He's like, oh, I, you were calling the other day because you couldn't find your social security card. I just Let me post the number right here just so you can have it for easy to look up. It's, um... I had somebody contact me uh, from, like, Kansas. He's like, you want to know my address so we can hang out? I'm like, no. No, no you don't. <laughs> I was like, this is, this, is, this is too familiar. Yeah. We must stop this course of action. I uh, when you get to set up a PO box. I have one, actually. Oh nice. I just I need to start doing that because uh people are like, I wanna send you things and I'm like, you can't and they're like, but I want to. 
I think Jemroth would want to send me things, and I was just like... I feel bad taking things from people. Yeah, kinda. I also Whether just don't know what I do with it. Whether it be money or virginity, like, it's just not, not a pleasant experience. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> Sometimes I say things purely to see what Ladybird's reaction will be, because she sits next to me when I record. And that's why I sometimes say things like, Oh, man, so I met this hot skank at the office. Just to <laughs> see, like, what, what she says. Um, usually I just get, like, a stare. Uh, right now, she's laughing her ass off while reading Ask Reddit, it looks. 